All right, it's another day, another fender. Um, this time we've got Miles's 66 Plymouth Fury. We've got this driver's passenger side, right? Uh, side, essentially yeah. the same job. Let's get it up and have a look at it. It's almost the same repair. Holes. Uh, yeah, you can see there. You ever see these little blisters there? Uh, those are holes. Don't Coming kid yourself. Back, it's from the back, yeah. So I think we're going to go got to get above the highest one which is there so we got to go right up to here this time okay. and you want to look at the inside to see if we're mm, looks pretty clean it's okay if we i mean whatever drilling the hole is not really no it's just know. having that exact placement matters to me <laughs> i know okay well then we'll go here and just miss that hole i guess yeah that seem reasonable? Yep, it does. Okay, so I'll start making that. Miles is gonna drill apart and take apart the fender, and we're gonna try and save the brace and this piece this time, so we're gonna leave those there, and then we'll just make our new piece maybe right to that corner, I guess. Hey? Yeah, that was That'll be, like the last time. Yep, so I'll sketch that out. Like I'll make that, you cut it apart. <laughs> this is our... Uh, speedy fender repair day we got uh, <laughs> 10 minutes or less so i know we just did one of these last week but i uh i just showed installing the piece but i didn't show actually making the piece so i don't know that's my excuse plus uh we're kind of caught up on most of the fab work on the rover and the other stuff so yeah. until we get started on the sm which will be at this rate next week <laughs> <laughs> we're flying through this stuff so Anyhow, uh, either that or we can just go upstairs and drink beer and open mail. Maybe yeah, we'll when, do that when's instead. that night coming? Uh, it's going to be soon. Who yeah. doesn't want a mail night? I want to do uh, open up all the mail. We have so much, and uh, I do I do love it, but it's getting ahead of me. So we're going to open it all, and we're going to have a pretty fun time. So I hope you guys will tune in. Annual mail day. Yeah, we got to do it. Start doing it more than once a year. That's the other thing. <laughs> Tender time. Okay, quick sketchy pattern of the bottom of the fender. And so now we're going to take this and trim it to the part I actually want, which is going to be something like, should be something like this. Okay, easy enough. And there, here. And we gotta add this up here, which goes about halfway, half inch and down to a quarter inch. Quarter inch here, half inch, quarter inch there. And that should that should get us well on the way. Fold line. Okay. And then we'll use the shrinker to draw the radius into it this way. Uh, yeah, good. before you get the other one off. I'm going to double check.
So here's what we're trying to achieve. Can you see that? Yes, so this is just traced from the old fender while Miles is working on it. And I'm just going to put this in the shrinker and pull it till it matches that. Then we'll kind of curve the rest of the piece by hand. And we'll be done in a couple of minutes. You thought you got the gravy job. Yeah. This is the no gravy. Well, it's starting to look like maybe not. actually let's see there doesn't need to be any better than that I would say good so but you can see this has no right look at all that and it's pretty faded out by here so I'm just gonna take that put it over top of the pipe there and just kind of push it in there to make sure that I show the Danton the SM every time Hey, anything, that, any kind of interest in the SM is all we're after. It's Not exactly YouTube gold, the French cars. No, it's a bastard. <laughs> they don't make it into my garage. Somehow, you yeah, know, it's good at your it. loss. <clears throat> we'll know that you've succeeded when Miles sells his big block car and buys a <laughs> buys 90 a horsepower Citroen. Citroen. Yeah. That thing is so easy on gas. I can't tell you how many I've, times I've filled up the new you one. you got to fill up just to get here. Yeah. Definitely something I check before I head out. <laughs> okay, let's lay that on there and see what happens. Well, that lays on there pretty good. You like that? Yeah. So what we're going to do, you trim... Uh, we're going to just hold that there. Yeah. We're going to do a, a, a light, like we'll trim half of it off. On the back here? Well, just because you never want to go for it on the first attempt, right? So, okay. So you drill, yeah, I'll get on there's this. There's a couple there. Yeah. And then we're going to cut it like this. Then we're going to lay this on here again. You know what I mean? Okay. Then we're going to. Then we'll trace it because look at them sticking out here. So this line's going to move over, this line's going to move up, you know what I mean? I see. So if we trim that there, we're going to end up with a panel that's sitting down here. So Seriously? Because... Well, just because I can't push it. In. I can't push it tight. So it's going to actually get longer. It's actually going to move up and yeah. this way. Okay, carry on. I'm... I'm on dark break. <laughs> Which is better when you don't smoke because then you can just do whatever you want. <laughs> How's it going, man? Good, Good to see you guys. We're just doing more rusty fenders. Seen what you're up against on this side? Yeah. yeah. What? Hammer and dolly. Hammer and dolly. Hammer and dolly. Big hammer. Uh, maybe. I don't care. Smaller yeah. hammer. <laughs> Now we know that goes there. Okay, where's our new piece? Here it is. Flops on there 
pretty good. This is what allows us to get it to fit. Yeah, that's right. It slides in. Now, now, you see, it completely hides that line we had. Yeah. So we would have been wrong, right? Yep. So now we put three vice grips on it, then we're going to trace it. Here's one. Yep. Now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Just enough. You just grind this down and then overlap the new panel onto it. Oh yeah, you can do that. That's yeah. not, that's not the proper way though. You want to make sure it's all perfectly butted, right? That's yeah. Well, if you're trying to do it nice. Yeah. If you're, you know, if it's a floor pan on an old Edsel, yeah, then you might overlap <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's not as bad as I'd think though, right? Well, it's not as bad as the other side. The other yeah. side, this was beyond salvaging. Yeah. So this side, though. But other than that, this vendor's decent. Other than all that. <laughs> yeah. All other than that. being all rusty, <laughs> it's pretty good. Now, <clears throat> well, I'm going to do the final trim here. Okay. Then we'll fit it up and then I'll leave it to you to clean up the inside. Right. And then we'll just, uh, then I can tack it or weld it up any time. Oh. Close, eh? Yeah. Nice. And we'll just weld those two edges together when we get. We'll just beat them in and right. they fit. Okay. Yeah. Well, whatever you decide to do there. Okay, well, I'll let you clean this up. Yeah. If you want to put a piece in here, you can. Okay. Um, I like easing. There we go. Okay. Job or more, I'll be mad. Yeah, <laughs> don't want, don't want the queen mad. Laura <laughs> <laughs> just bought a, 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 a cabin today. Oh, cool. from like the 1790s, what? and she's having it's all dismantled, and she's having it shipped out here to be reassembled. <laughs> Crazy, Crazy 17, eh? yeah, 17, 1700s. Yeah, <laughs> it's cool. That's yeah. so neat, man. Right on. So it's neat because it'll yeah. be one of the oldest buildings in Alberta because there are no buildings that old here. Yeah, so they're it's coming from Quebec. Oh, cool. And she's going to put it together. So that'll wow, be fun. Oh, that's a project. That's fun. Yeah, that'll be a project. Oh, so doing like said, as long as the cabin's not done before your car. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> this is a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. 